Good afternoon. We're here at Bonitron today. We're going to demonstrate how to use a portable cap former. Now, when you first open the box, you will see an AC cord and a set of banana plugs. First thing you want to do is look at your switch here. You have it in three positions. You have a discharge, a hold, and a charge mode. Before you, uh, before you plug it in, just to be safe, push the button down and down position in discharge mode. Now, plug in your AC power which we already have next step you have your banana plugs here now they are red and black of course the polarity no, uh, red is positive black is negative now we're going to plug it in negative positive now you want to hook this up to your your cap bank or your drive in this case we are using some cap banks now you're going to observe polarity positive negative now going back over here go to your dial you want to make sure it's, it is fully counterclockwise at zero and as you see your three di displays you have your set point voltage your output current and your output voltage now during this you may notice your set point voltage may be lower than your output voltage. That is fine. The, output, the set point voltage is actually what you want the caps to charge up to. The output voltage is actually what the caps are seeing. And of course you have your output current. Now granted, the faster you turn up the voltage, the higher the, capacity, the, higher the ca uh, current you're going to be seeing. So don't freak out too much about that. If you, if, you have a big, if you have a big drive, you may see several amps when you're charging this thing up. Now. First thing we're going to do, make sure the dial is all the way down counterclockwise to zero. We're going to place it in charge. And now when you hook this up, you need to make sure what voltage class you have, whether it's an L, E, or an H drive. An L, you want to charge this up to 320 volts DC. An E, you want to charge it up to 540 volts DC. An H, which is what we have, you want to charge it up to 640 volts DC. Now, Bring them up slightly slowly, but keep an eye on the, uh, the output current. And like I mentioned, the bigger drive you have, you can have more caps. And of course, the current's going to be a little higher. So we are going to slowly raise this up to 640 volts. Now, once we get up here, we're going to demonstrate what the hold button does. Alright, we are at 640 volts, or approximately. Now, at this point, you can leave it as is to let voltage sit on the caps for a little while. Or if you hit the hold button, that would just, that would, it would disable the actual DC voltage feeding the caps, and you only let the caps slowly bleed themselves. We hit it off. Now the knob has nothing to do with it. As you see, it's slowly discharging. That's a good sign. If it dropped that way completely, that means you got a bad caps. Now at this point, go to your switch, put it in discharge position, and it will discharge your, your cap bank. And as you would notice, the output current will go to zero.